Welcome to day 20 of your 30 day yoga challenge. You are two thirds of the way into fulfilling this challenge you've set for yourself. I'm so proud of you. Today, we're gonna to continue with standing balancing postures um, in order to build strength in the lower body and awareness of where we are in space and to firm up this ability of how strong we actually are. A lot of times we believe that we are weak or that we don't have enough strength yet. And the reality of it is, is your body is built so intelligently. You have these um, enormous, powerful muscles in the thighs and the glutes. And it's just a matter of waking them up, accessing that strength so we can be reminded of how powerful and strong we really are. Today, we're coming into goddess pose. It's also known as horse stance in some traditions. And this is a nice hip opener. It's a little fiery. And so to start with, we're gonna come into a nice wide stance. So I'm a little wider than my outer hips again. And then now I'd like you to turn your toes out. But when you do that, you're sensing that your kneecaps and your thigh bones are rotating as well. So remember, knees and toes are always looking in the same direction. Take your hands to your pelvis, inhale here. You're gonna soften your knees just a little bit and widen your inner thighs. This was a tiny knee bend, notice that. Now, your pubic bone, instead of popping the pubic bone up towards the navel, you're gonna keep the pubic bone reaching straight down as you continue to bend the knees. Take an inhale, widen your knees, Feel your outer hips grip just a little bit to facilitate that widening of the thighs. And now without thrusting the pubic bone, I want you to feel your tailbone starting to reach down. Your pelvic floor should lift up slightly, draw in around your waist, spread your toes, notice the heat here, relax your mouth. Getting tense in the face just drains the energy that we need in order to access the strong pose. Channel your energy into the legs. Lift your spine out of your pelvis. You have one more breath here with sound. Do something big, do something strong and stay calm. Exhale. Good, now squeeze your legs to straight, inhale. Exhale, just pause and notice the release. And now we'll move on the breath. Inhale, sweep your arms out and up. As you exhale, hands to heart, and you're widening your knees, you're widening your thigh bones. Feel your tailbone reach. Inhale, squeeze your legs to straight. So feel the muscles pull up to straighten your legs. Exhale, hands to heart. Widen your inner thighs away from each other. Reach your tailbone down, pull the pelvic floor up. Inhale again, reach out and up. Sound your breath. Hands to heart, deepen, relax your neck and shoulders. Inhale, teach yourself that you can do powerful, hard, challenging things and you can stay calm and centered. Inhale, these are the lessons of yoga. So often we think it's just fancy stretching and yoga postures, but this is really only one of the eight limbs of yoga is taking care of our body through asana or through postures. The other parts of this path of yoga is about the way that we show up in the world with integrity, with strength, with softness, being able to stay calm even though we're confronted with challenges and guess what that's really hard to do so we have to practice it we have to embody it take one more inhale you're doing so good reach your arms up towards the ceiling exhale hands to heart straighten your legs turn your toes forward walk your feet together shake out the legs so good let your arms come by your side. With your eyes closed, I want you to notice what is relieved in your body that that is over. Not in your mind, not your mind saying like, oh, thank goodness that's over. I want you to go into your tissues and feel. 
feel your legs fully alive, throbbing and pumping. And may you access that strength for the rest of your day. When you're ready, you can open your eyes. Thank you for your practice. I hope it enhances your day and I will see you tomorrow. Namaste.